Welcome back to PMN Samoa Radio 581 PI. Your time is now 17 minutes after 4. SRA, or Samala Robinson Academy, was born in the 2000s. The Samala Robinson Academy, or SRA, is New Zealand's leading fashion makeup academy that is NZQA accredited. It was established in 2000 by leading New Zealand makeup artist Samala Robinson, who has over 25 years of experience in fashion, film, and television. It is my pleasure to have him and host him here in the 531 PI studio to talk about the school, the free course, as well as their open day on the 13th of August, the Saturday at Mangere Town Centre. Please welcome on the show. We've got Teresa Henry and Peter Cho from ANZ Future Community Trust. My Lord, so if we'll welcome on a PMN Samuel 531 PI show. Okay. So, hello everyone. My name is Peter Chow from NJ Future Community Trust. This time, we wanted to uh, help the young lady and the woman to build up their own safe confidence, also to upskill their uh, skill they can find a job or find their own business. So, we work with the SRA. We try to provide a, a scholarship program to all our community. So now we then uh, Teresa to introduce the exciting course to everyone. Welcome on the show, Teresa Henry. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, okay, so just a little bit about myself. Um, I've been working in the beauty industry for a beauty industry for about twenty years, wow. um, and what began as a thought uh, progressed quickly uh, into an interest, and then blossomed into a lifelong career. Um, Throughout my journey as an artist, other opportunities surfaced. Uh, I eventually ended up teaching in the classroom Mm -hmm. um, to students whose passion was also driven by the art of makeup artistry. um, And from there, progressed even further to where I am now the program leader Mm -hmm. for the academy. Now, Teresa Henry, I know um, SRA or Samala Robinson Academy was born in 2000, but can you share a little bit about the academy? Yep, so the Academy also works with some of New Zealand's top makeup artists. Mm -hmm. Um, They're dedicated to delivering the finest standards in training. Mm -hmm. Um, We also help grow individual creativity and self-expression by giving students an opportunity um, to to practice those skills and hone those skills Mm -hmm. in the safety and comfort um, in our classrooms with professional uh, artists as their tutors. Mm. Yeah. Now, and, and what is the school like, or, or what is the response like from our Pacifica, especially Pacifica, you know, young young girls who are interested in the course? What is the, resp- uh, the response like from our Pacifica women? Yeah, so it's a, we've got an amazing response. Um, the about seventy percent of our school are made up of Pacifica uh, and Maori students, wow. um, and for a lot of them, the drive is to be able to work from home, uh, start their own businesses mm-hmm. as freelance artists. Artists um, and what they find that along the way um, into the duration of the course, other opportunities open up for them. So, what simply started out as I just want to work from home and do makeup on friends and family uh, soon grows out into okay, now I've got an opportunity to work on set, mm. uh, do film and television, uh, work on counter. Um, yeah, so it's been mm. a, a great response mm. from our. Uh, Pacifica community. Wow, and Nihal yeah. Peter Cho, you know, from NZ Future Community Trust. What is it like working with SRA? I know you are involved in sort of like, you know, recruitment and getting our young ladies to, you know, to enroll and take up this great opportunity. What is it like working with SRA? Okay, so actually we know each other for a long time. Actually, two of us working for community. So actually all the thinking we are based on the, NZ, uh, based on the community needs. Mm. So this is the reason we, when we talk to, because I'm from the education background as well. So I know we always targeting the community, what they need, what they want. So we thinking this is a good program for our community, especially young lady or especially young mom. They can have their own business, own opportunity. So this is a re- reason we relate, we working with uh, SIA and the working together provide mm-hmm. to community. Mm-hmm. Now, I know we're going to get into the interesting part, Teresa Henry, and this is um, something that a lot of young, uh, of a, a young, the Maitai young ladies I would like to hear. Why should people, young ladies, take up this course, and is it free, Teresa? 
Okay, um, first of all, why should you take the course? Well, if you've got an an idea, a passion, a liking, something that draws you towards um, arts. And in this field of arts, it's your canvas is the face, yeah. the, the human face. Um, then you should join us because we can help you hone those skills. Um, we've got experts who not only are ab able to deliver you know, the best, um, whose priorities lie in giving the best education to, to young individuals that want to pursue uh, in this career um, but also uh, you know it's NZQA accredited as well not to mention forget to mention uh, the work experience opportunities you know so it's great to be able to teach them in the class the expectations when they get out on the field but we also have connections networks in the community mm. that help us um, to, to send our students out into the field and get real hands-on experience as to what the expectations mm. are you know what it's like working to time constraints um, you also need to um, have a certain level of customer service and communication skills mm. and so for a lot of our students that come through who don't have the confidence in those areas uh, very quickly learn uh, how how to you know mm. uh, listen how to communicate with all walks of life mm. you know um, and be appreciative of what comes their way mm. you know so so those are the the major benefits in there and is it was mm. free I'm sorry. So unfortunately, no, the course is not free. Um, but if you do qualify, we we uh, have the government funded uh, fees free scheme. Um, and to find out if you qualify for that, you just need to go onto their website. Now, if you don't qualify for the fees free scheme, the course costs um, eight thousand four hundred and thirty eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, people can apply for that uh, for a student loan through StudyLink. Mm -hmm. Um, that's interest free and it's also a thousand dollars for the course related costs which includes uh, the, a professional startup yeah. kit. Yeah. Now, and, and how fast is the process you know, from completing this course to starting up your own sort of like you know small business as a makeup artist? Yep um, so that's dependent on where the student is at. Uh, some of the students that sign up uh, prior to studying already have their business mm -hmm. set up so makeup is an additional service that they want to offer. Then we have students who are really unsure of what it is that they want to do and hopefully early within the stages of the course um, they're able to get an idea and set goals as to whether or not they want to start up their own business mm -hmm. or pursue in the field of working on set or on counter. The course itself takes 17 weeks for our full-time course and that's Monday to Friday, uh, 9 o'clock till 1.30 and then for our part-time, for those that are already working, uh, that's 36 weeks because it's only two evenings mm -hmm. um, for 36 weeks. Um, by the end of the duration of the course, the all the students will by that stage know what it is that they want to do then mm -hmm. and some of them through the work experience have started networking or made connections um, through the industry and continue from there so we have students that will have done photo shoots for example mm -hmm. um, for modeling agency uh, and that agency will want to continue using their services other um, work experiences that we sent them off to, they will follow up with them and ask for their services mm -hmm. at a later stage, for example, like fashion shows, you know, so they keep contact details of these people in the industry. We also, as, as an, an academy, um, do accept graduates to mm -hmm. come back if they're looking for more work mm -hmm. um, and we send them out there. We also work together um, with uh, David Jones, so that's a retail company, and a lot of our students who want to pursue in that field in retail um, have the opportunity to mm -hmm. do that. And obviously, we're going to send them once they're ready to go out into the field. Um, and that's how the connect connections are started, how they're made and started, and then progress from there. Mm. You know, you know, with uh, your role, you know, to to support SRA, how how did you how did a young man like yourself, you know, get into uh, supporting, you know, this a uh, great initiative, this great course? Okay, this is uh, why I support this one because I found a two big one because I'm working in the education industry uh, around twenty years, so I know what a student needs, what the marketing needs. Second one is 
uh, based on the, our NZ Future Community Trust, uh, we always listen to the, all the group, what they need, what they want. Also, we have a lot of group. Even I uh, approach some of the young lady group, they sometimes say they are now is a full-time mom. They don't have a time to work out to learn something. After the become the full-time mom, become the part-time mom. Mm. And the later on, when the kids become the teenage, they will say, mom, go away. So they are lose the job. So this is the reason I listen to the community's needs. We want to build up their own skill, even to build our own confidence. At least they can work out to learn something, to know something. Later on, even now, I know uh, post, the, post the COVID, I think mm -hmm. now the economic inflation rate higher. So probably some family need an extra income to support currently the expense. So this is a reason based on the, my education but my education uh, provider background and also our community working with community needs. So I thinking this is a good program for young mom. Now, now for you know some of our Pacific families to reside in Peter, you know we seem to like push our kids to study you know medicine, to study nursing, teaching, uh, you know um, uh, legal studies. But we forget about the other avenues or the other pathways. Yeah. Now, Teresa, you know very well in our pacific families you know we have big occasions family occasions mm -hmm. wedding uh birthdays uh celebrations and our, our women they would love to you know to look beautiful yes. so makeup is another sort of like expense that comes into the picture now can you share with us some successful stories of our Pacifica women that are now have now sort of like stepped up, you know, from being a makeup artist to having their own businesses, uh, Teresa? Yep, yep. Um, no, happy to do that. There, there are plenty. I've had. Um, I've been lucky enough in my career to have come across uh, graduates that have done exactly that, um, where they started off, and I can still remember them starting off as quite nervous, uh, very shy, um, you know, quite, quite the reclusive, uh, but were very skilled and talented in makeup, but just didn't know how to get themselves known mm. you know in the industry and then having met them again um, are now successful business owners so they run their own beauty uh, clinics or they're managing uh, uh, beauty salons mm. some of them have furthered uh, gone on into beauty therapy hairdressing just extra services to be able to support the business that they run um, I've also come across many students and had feedback from industry students that have in their freelancing um, been able to build up enough clientele to live off mm -hmm. the just the work itself and not have to um, use it as a way to supplement their income. You know, for a lot of our students that have graduated, that's how it started off. Okay, this is just something on the side, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to um, work off but it's also a, a great skill in that it takes you to many places I know it has for me that I normally wouldn't have been able to um, afford to go mm. to myself um, for example you know big expensive hotels uh, traveling overseas um, it wasn't a thought that crossed my mind when I took up uh, the training, the study to be a makeup artist, my mind was just simply one track in that I was going to work from home um, next to a full-time job. Now what that full-time job would be, um, I had no idea at the time being a young mum, I just thought look it's it's something cool. Mm. Um, and then it opened my eyes to a lot of different opportunities, that was one of them. Once I began travelling um, because of the opportunities that came my way, I you know, realize this is something a lot more than just uh, being able to pick up a brush and, and change the way somebody looks. And then by doing that change, it also changed the confidence and the way they felt about themselves. And being able to play a part, for example, in someone's um, wedding day, mm. you know, that photo is going to be around for life, or hopefully for life. And if not, I hope I'm there for the next one. <laughs> and being able to help, you know, just provide a service that they can look back on in those photos when they're sharing them with their mm. kids and family and know that okay it's a small part mm. but it made a huge difference 
to that wow. client. Greg mm-hmm. Delanoa there, Teresa and mm-hmm. Peter, and I was blown away by um, just how much some of the makeup artists make a day, especially on the weekends when there's <laughs> like, there's always a function on a weekend. Mm-hmm. So there's always jobs for makeup artists. And my sister, Ria Ella, always, you know, do her makeup by herself. So Ella, you also need to do the course because, <laughs> you know, so you spend less on your own, on your own, uh, you know, makeup beauty. So you can look beautiful on our Pia Mensa and Five Fatal One PI show. But anyways, now I, I'm aware there is a, there's an expo uh, you've got an open day on the 13th of okay. this month Saturday this coming this coming Saturday yeah. at Mangali Town Centre can you share a little bit about that please oh. uh, our open day will be the demonstrate uh, the, we will arrange, uh, arrange the, some guests to be the free demonstrate how to uh, become the the makeup before and the after Last time we did it once, I think it's uh, very successful. Wow. But uh, the place will be uh, in the new market. So uh, I will text you about the detail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, we want to show in the campus. Because in campus, we can show the, all the facility, all the teacher. And the least Saturday, we still have a current student. You can uh, testimony about the student, how they like this program, how they enjoy the learning there, how the achievement they got. So this is one of the shared experience, mm. environment. Also, the every student, they have their own uh, tour kits. The, mm. That one is worth, then, I think, a marketing value around the $2,000. Mm. But the older students have their own tour. They can be the professional staff mm. on the learning. So this is uh, one of the show in the uh, open day. Mm. Now, Saturday the 13th, or oh, this um, Saturday from 9.30 at Mangari Town Centre, that's the place to be on this Saturday. Now, after you do your shopping at the flea market, come on down to the town centre where the, the stage is and, and, and have a quarter in a Telenor with some of our makeup artists. Now, I'm also aware that there's going to be uh, makeup demonstrations on a day. So if you're also, you know, a, a male, don't be fucking mad, don't be shy, come on down, have a demonstration. Like, I'm going to get one. I'm so going to get one because us men, we want to look beautiful too. You know, we want to look, you know, more beautiful. Well, we already look beautiful, but we want to add to that beautiful. Anyway, is there any further comments from you two before we uh, end our Talanoa, Teresa and Peter? Um, no, you've pretty much covered um, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd love to be able to see, you know, everybody come, those who can come uh, to the open day and you'll get to meet um, our lovely trainer. We're available for any questions that um, you might have for us. Um, and the first 30 people that uh, attend will get a goodie bag, right. you know, so it'd be interesting to see what's inside those goodie bags. Nice. Yeah. Now, I guess we'll see you on Saturday at Mangali Town Centre from 9.30. There's going to be awesome entertainments. Also, we are going to celebrate the victory of our Manukau Rovers Rugby Club from 11 to 12 in collaboration with our Open Day from SRA, Samala Robinson Academy. And we've got Peter here uh, from New ANZ Future Community Trust. Thank you so much. God bless. And we'll see you on Saturday. See you. Thank you. Thank you. To PM in Samoa. Yeah, man, I'm young, fine, huh?